What's this area? No. This is just a, well, this is where I sort of have meetings when I'm talking about the show and people, but I thought we could sit here and if we're going to draw each other. These are my favourite pencils from Japan. All right. Really nice pencils. You I go all the way to Japan to buy a pencil. It's a long way to go, yeah. but it's worth it. Yeah. I want that back, by the way. Okay. You can't keep it. So we draw on each other. Yeah, okay then. I don't know yeah. I look too much like Timothy Spall, because yeah. sometimes, <laughs> sometimes that comes out when people draw me. A kind of jowly hangdog. Jonathan has been married to his wife, Jane Goldman, for 32 years. Jane is a flipping awesome screenwriter and has written the scripts to Kingsman, Kick-Ass and X-Men First Class. Let's talk about um, Jane. How, how did you meet your missus? I met her at a nightclub. She didn't really know I was from TV because I'd literally had only had like two shows on. Yeah. And she did look stunning. She said she went home that night and said to her mum, I've met the man I'm going to marry. Yeah. I assume she met me. Yeah. I met a few men that <laughs> night, I don't know. What do you think the secret is then? Having an office that's full of toys that you can wander off to? We love each other's company. Yeah. She's one of the few people who makes me laugh. Are you ready? Yeah. See, yours looks good. <laughs> yours looks like me. I like me. Yeah, but, that, but you know, that's not what you look like. No. This is what I look like. I like that. <laughs> Why is one of my eyes so much smaller than the other? <laughs> yeah, I look like super manly. Yeah, you do. You don't look anything like that, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I look like a sort of disgraced 70s entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan's been throwing proper fancy Halloween parties for years where celebrities dress up and get boozed up in his back garden. Oh, look, there's Jimmy Carr with Audrey, the man-eating plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Are you surprised sometimes by the people that come, like, big names? Rarely, cos I've invited them. Sometimes a month in advance you get PR people... Wanting them saying, to come. Can, can so-and-so <gasps> come? And you say, no, fuck off. Oh, well, you have people come, some of the people don't know they're there because they turn up in masks, and it's great. And that's why some people who don't want to be seen out and about... Yeah. Like Benedict Cumberbatch came one year and he came bandy up as an invisible man, so no-one knew it was coming well, in and going out. I remember um, talking to this girl at your party. She had the Mexican Day of the Dead not uh, makeup on. She says, Keith, have we met before? I said, I don't know who you are. And she said, oh, I'm Adele. I went, Adele who? <laughs> and then um, Alan went, it's Adele! <laughs> so, OK, some quick fire. They're not really quick fire. You can extrapolate on the answers. You don't have to say yes or no. Who would you rather snog, Helen Mirren or Judy Dench? Oh, it'd have to be Mirren, wouldn't it? For you, who would it be? Um, I like Judy's eyes. I like a little sort of twinkly eyes. Yeah, but you're not going to put your tongue in her eye, are you? I might put my finger in her ear. Oh, so I don't think we should talk about fingering Judy Dench. What's your beef with Goldie Horn? I haven't got any beef with Goldie Horn. Oh, so it's over then, you sorted it out. I love Goldie Horn. Yeah. Oh, you mean when I was invited to go on a cruise and I didn't go? Is that what happened? I bought... I was sort of, like, trying to help out a celebrity auction. I went up bidding on something to help get the price up, and then someone else won it. It was a weekend on a cruise with Goldie Horn. I thought, thank fuck for that. And I went, the good news is, you can go as well. And I'm like, oh. oh. Were you just fishing? You didn't know there was a... I this, didn't know, this, no. This, <laughs> So I normally just put a random in, but there's a story. I thought, I do not want to be trapped on a fucking cruise boat with anyone. <laughs> specifically not Goldie Holm. <laughs> Wibble wobble, let me out of here. Phew. Oh, shit! Do you use shower puff? No, I don't use that. I've got a nice brush on the end of a pot that I use to get down my back. Old school. Oh, old school. Yeah. I love a good yeah, scrub yeah, on the yeah. back like that. Do you get a bath more than shower, then? I shower more than bath. It's funny, I was talking to my wife the other day because it was our 32nd wedding anniversary and we were just reminiscing Congrats. about some of the earlier days and she said what was funny was the first time she spent a night sleeping over, we had a bath together in the morning before going off to work and she said, and you washed your hair in the bath, which meant you dunked your head in like that and you pushed your balls up in there like that. <laughs> she said, and I thought, she said it was a bit odd, <laughs> but it was quite charming because you weren't... And I said, well, that's how I used to wash my hair in the bath. Yeah. Said, yeah, but I was in the bath for the first time with you and suddenly it all came up me. I said, well, I didn't really think it through. <laughs> Well, it's been lovely chatting to you, Jonathan, and um, can I stay and play with some of your toys? To be honest with you, you outstayed your welcome half an hour ago. Yeah.